Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. I'm Sonal Gupta and this channel is about increasing your understanding of physics. To clear your concepts, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for latest updated videos. This video session, you're going to learn about the method of heat transfer, which is thermal conduction. So what do we mean by thermal conduction? See, thermal conduction is the phenomenon of flow of thermal energy or heat energy within one material or two materials in contact. Here you can see this: there is somebody holding a rod. So within one material, we are showing you how thermal conduction happens. So here the flame is heating the molecule, this rod at one end. So let's say this is end A and this is end B. So at end A, where the molecules are being heated, there is a greater thermal energy, obviously, which corresponds to a great molecular agitation. Agitation means that <clears throat> we know that molecules in solids, they are in uh, vibration, vibrational state. So they are vibrating. But the moment you start heating them, they start vibrating more vigorously. So those agitated molecules or the vigorous vibrating molecules at the end A, naturally they will hit the molecules, the neighboring molecules. So they will transfer their kinetic energy to the neighboring molecules. Then those start vibrating vigorously. They also get agitated. Then they transfer their kinetic energy or vibrational energy to the neighboring. And so on with the neighboring molecules, it reaches. So the energy is being transferred. So you were agitating only one at molecules and they transferred their energy to the neighboring, then to the neighboring, then to the neighboring. And this is how the energy has, heat energy has traveled from one end to the other end B. So this is the mode of, uh, heat transfer that happens only in solids. See, it can happen in liquids and uh, gases, but it's rare because the molecules are far apart. For thermal conduction to happen or the energy to flow through thermal conduction, we need a very close interaction of the atoms or molecules. So they are a little farther in case of liquids and gases. So we would say that the thermal conduction happens mainly in solids. So it's just because the transfer of energy has to happen because in solids we know the molecules are arranged like this. So when this molecule will agitate, it will obviously transfer its energy to this, then to this, then to this and so on. So when you're heating one end, the other end also gets heated up. So that's how the energy flows in thermal conduction. That's all in this video session. In our next session, you will learn about the second method of heat transfer, which is convection. Thank you.